coming up. The island delivers another shocking blow to the teams. What you need to know is if you lose, you will have to sacrifice either yourself or that player you have chosen. I'm JK and welcome to Escape from Scorpion Island, where once again events are about to shake things up. Hiya, I'm Joel and believe me, this island is forcing our adventurers to make some very tough decisions. The challenges are getting tougher and the island is testing them to their limit mentally too. Scorpion Island looks like paradise, but it's tough and unpredictable. Two teams, Sting and Claw, are being tested to their very limits to find out who's got what it takes to escape the island's clutches. The island has taken people prisoner and is holding them deep in the jungle. Each day, the island selects some of its captives to compete against each other in the Limbo Challenge. The winners are offered up as human prizes. King and Claw then do battle, and the victorious team take home their prize. Ultimately, the team with the most members has the best chance of escape. At the moment, Team Sting have five members, but Claw are leading with seven. There are four captives left in limbo, but that could all change. Sting and Claw must gain new players and add them to their team if they're going to win the final race and escape this island. Because remember, strength is in numbers. But which teams will stay the course and who will triumph as they take on the next big challenge? The adventurers will take control of ultra-rugged Scorpion Island buggies and race them around a twisting, turning, tyre rubber burning course. It really will be a reckless rally. Stop! 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 Well, I don't think any of our adventurers have got a driving licence. Mind you, they ain't going to stop them. And when they hit the track, they're going to be going so fast, it's untrue. So then, will it be Sting or Claw in the driving seat when we play Reckless Rally? Remember, Claw are currently in the lead, but let's remind ourselves how they got there. Last time, the teams were literally stretched to the limit. Testing their stamina, strength, and will to win. Lizzie really went the extra mile for her team. When I was doing the challenge, I was pulling with all my might. All the stress was on me, basically. All the responsibility was on me to win that challenge. Claw were victorious, claiming Amy as their prize. Last night, the island fire revealed the name of the next challenge. Reckless Rally. The island also had a devious surprise to announce. The next challenge that you will be playing is Reckless Rally, but you need to choose somebody from your team to play the challenge with you. I do need to tell you that, once again, the island has demanded another sacrifice. Remember what happened last time? Sting lost Alex. What you need to know is if you lose tomorrow, you will have to sacrifice either yourself or that player you have chosen. Kai, for Team Sting, who is going to be playing alongside you? Um, I'm going to pick. Lachlan. Why are you picking Lachlan? Because I think he will do good in, in a rally and he's a good, strong player. Ollie, as the brand new team captain, it's time for you to choose one of your teammates to play in the next challenge. I 
I'm gonna pick Jake. Because I think I, I, I will work well with him and, um, well, I think he's gonna do well in this sort of challenge. You do understand that either you or Jake, if you lose the challenge, will be sacrificed to limbo. Yeah. And that will be your decision. Yeah, that will be a really hard de decision to make. So, who will be sent to limbo today? I think Scorpion Island has been really mean today because it's given us a really hard challenge and then it's made us sacrifice one of our players and it knows we're a bit down in the dumps, I think. This time, again, the uh, island decided uh, that they, it wanted another sacrifice, so uh, one of us, Jake or I, <coughs> has to um, uh, be sacrificed. I don't know how I'm going to be able to sort of just say, I'm, I'm going to pick Jake. I'm really nervous about that. With Claw feeling confident in the lead, Sting have got some ground to make up. And Claw will be fighting really hard to make sure they maintain their position. But who could they win to join their team? Who have the island put forward from Limbo this time? As always on Scorpion Island, things are never that simple. Hidden away in the dark jungle is a mysterious clearing. It is the home of a mound of rocks with amazing powers. This is the Stone of Selection. Each day, the Stone of Selection will choose a handful of the Limbo captives and force them to compete for the chance to join Sting or Claw. But living inside the stone is something dark and twisted. Here's what happened at the Stone of Selection last night. Welcome, Limbo Captives. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Stone of Selection once again. In a moment, you will put your hand <laughs> inside the Stone of Selection and you will wait to see if you are selected. The scorpion has until the sands of time run out to make its selection. Right, Limbo captives, please put your hand inside the stone of selection. Limbo captives, the sands of time have run out. You can remove your hands from the stone of selection. So playing into Morrow's challenge is Jack, you've been marked blue, and Alex, you've been marked white. Jack, how do you feel? I feel really surprised that it's a one-on-one, -on -one, second one-on-one -on -one that um, Scorpion Anders gave to us. Um, it's gonna be, I hope it's gonna be a good challenge because um, yesterday uh, was a really good challenge with me and Amy. Uh, we worked really well, and now I've just got to try my hardest and beat um, Alex. You're that close from getting out of limbo? Yeah. A couple of times now? Yeah, twice now. So you're making it third time lucky? Yeah, third time lucky, definitely. And Alex, it's your chance to get out of limbo. Yeah, it is. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good, and um, it's my first actual challenge in limbo, and I'm on I'm, I'm, I'm man team, so it's quite weird. But... Hopefully, I will get out and beat Jack. Well, this is a unique situation. You guys will go head to head tomorrow in the Limbo Challenge. One of you will return back to Limbo, and one of you will be freed. You will go to either Team Sting or Team Claw. Good luck in tomorrow's challenge, and have a good night. Good night. So, it's Alex versus Jack. Both are desperate to get onto one of the teams. Alex has been part of a team since the beginning. I think Team Sting I lose because I'm I'm not there. They are a bit depressed and they just wish I was back on the team. The most competitive on Scorpion Island, failure will hit him hard. Jack has been imprisoned on the island since day one 
and is anxious to start life on one of the teams. Jack's biggest strength is his positive attitude. Try your hardest, Alex. Don't give up, OK? And he always helps others through the challenges. They will be facing each other in a head-to-head -head challenge. Will Alex be reunited with his old teammate? Or will Jack finally be released from limbo? So here are our limbo captives, Alex and Jack. Now, this is a unique situation. You're going to go head to head in this battle. Jack, today's challenge is called Reckless Rally. Now, it may involve a car. I don't know. What are your driving skills like? Don't know. Never drove in my life. I didn't think you probably had. You've never done go-karting? Mm-mm, no. Are you feeling confident? Yeah, to beat Alex, definitely, but I'll try my hardest there. A little bit of fighting talk there, Alex? Yes. Ever driven before? Yes, I've driven a go-kart and I ride motorbikes, so... I don't know if it'll help, but hopefully it'll help. Do you think you'll have the advantage over Jack because you have that experience? Well, I drove a go-kart when I was, I don't know, my eighth or tenth birthday, so I don't really know much, but... I don't think I have too big of an advantage, maybe a little one. Well, good luck to the both of you. We found out what their skills are. Let's see how they fare in the Limbo Challenge. The island has created a terrifying dust ball racetrack, strewn with skulls. The adventurers will take control of ultra-rugged petrol engine Scorpion Island buggies and race against the clock around a twisting slalom course. They'll need to be fast, but they'll also need to be careful because if they crash into a post and knock its skull off, they get a 10-second penalty. Whoever achieves the quickest final time wins. Right then, boys, your individual tactics are essential here. You will be playing on your own, but against each other. Jack, have you thought through your tactics? Yep. Um, I'm, gonna go, I'm not going to go too fast. I'm not going to go too slow. I'm going to go at my own pace and um, try not to get as much dust around as um, possible, because if I do, I might knock down the post. OK. Alex, what are your tactics? I'm going to keep focused, of, of course. And as Jack said, I, I won't go too fast, but I won't go too slow. So then, Jack knows what he's doing, Alex knows what he's doing. It's time for action. Let's play Reckless Rally. First up, Jack. Jack, are you ready? Ready! Three, two, one, go! And he's off. This looks like a confident start, especially for someone who's never driven before, let alone driven a powerful all-terrain vehicle. The first post, not too difficult, but as the course goes on, it gets harder and harder. <laughs> now, if you remember, Jack's tactics were to take it very, very steady, very calm, very coordinated, and just to make sure that he doesn't knock any skulls off the posts. And so far, he's sticking to those rules. But this is not going to be easy. It's going to take some seriously tight reversing to get through there. Oh. Oh. And he's just clipped that post. No, 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 no. OK. Jack wasn't looking behind him as he reversed at speed. A foolish mistake, and he's paid the price for it. So that was Jack's first skull down, and that means a 10-second penalty added to his final time. He's having a look at the post. The skull is still on. Now he needs to hard down, hard, hard. Woo! He's rather close to me there. Um, what's that post, Jack? No, oh, Jack, 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 put it full. Ah, this is good thinking from Jack. He's worked out that if you loop out wide beyond the posts, you've got more chance of coming back between them at the right angle. Let's go. OK, Let's steady, go. Jack, steady, Jack. He's getting a little bit close here, a little bit close. Oh. Stop! Stop! Forward, there he is. Smooth and gently. Smooth and gently. Smooth and gently. Smooth and gently, OK? 
It's moving gently. Come on, you can do it, Dad. You can do it. Come on, that's Jack it. Jack has started okay. talking himself through the challenge. This is a great way to stay focused. No, we just got over this. Just go over this. Just go over this. He's having trouble putting it into reverse. Reverse, reverse. Okay. Driving a real buggy is clearly so much harder than on the game's console. Let's go. Into it. Yeah, put your back into it. Put your back into it. I'm enjoying this. This could be a good time, you know. Yes. But it's not over yet. Jack needs to go as fast as he can to be Alex and finally get out of limbo. I can do it. Come on. Come on, I can do it. Now he's having trouble getting the buggy into forward gear. That could cost him valuable seconds. Look at the concentration on his face. It is actually quite hard to steer those scorpion buggies. Find that post, Jack. Stop, stop. Jack started to look tired, but he's in sight of the finish line. To stop the clock, he's got to smash into the giant boulder and knock the golden skull off. Two more posts to go, and then it's the boulder. Come on, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Come on. Back a bit, just a bit, just a bit, just a bit, just a bit. And that's it. Well done, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. He's so nearly there. He's like that! Yes! Stop the clock, the skull is off. A great effort from Jack there. Little friend for you, Jack. There's the golden skull. Well done, mate. How did you find that? I loved it. Yeah? Yeah, I put my back into it. As I bet you could hear me singing. Were you singing? I didn't hear the singing. I heard you talking to yourself. Put your back into it. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, put your back into it. You've never driven before. No. You mentioned earlier that the only thing that you've driven is computer games. Yeah. So what's the real thing like? Amazing. Yeah? Loved it. Would you like to do it again? Yes. Yeah? Do you think you've done a quick time? Quite a quick time, but I'm proud of myself. It's the first time I've ever drove and even if I lose, driving is the best. Well done, mate. All good. <sighs> Next up, it's Alex. Alex, are you ready? Ready! Three, two, one, go! He's off. And wow, that is fast. Now remember, Alex rides motorbikes. He knows what he's doing. It's a really, really quick start. Oh, Alex looks dangerously close to that post. This is where Jack knocked a skull off. But Alex is through. This is great car control. That's a quick reverse there as well. Back into first. There he goes, straight in, round that post. Whoa! He's going absolutely full tilt around this course. The white line shows where Jack had got to by this point. So far, Alex is leaving him well behind. Oh, no, that does not sound good. The buggies have to be stationary to be changed from forward to reverse. But Alex did not wait for it to stop, and he's totally crunched the gears. He's in a rush, but he cannot afford to wreck the buggy. He's bound forward now, and we're back off. Here he goes. Alex wants to get out of limbo desperately. He is driving to save himself. He was on three wheels there. Check Alex out. Amazing. He's utterly immersed in this challenge, even on three wheels. 
the determination on his face is just immense. He's, oh, he really wants to do this. Remember, Alex was an original member of Team Sting, and he's only been in limbo for a very short while. And you can just see how desperate he is to get back out. He's coming up to the narrowest part of the course. This is a tight one. In through that post, it's going to be the home straight any second. So far, no skulls have been knocked off their posts. Alex could get out of limbo. Just one more reverse, and he can drive straight into that boulder. And he has to stop the clock. Woo! The skull is off. A terrific effort, and not even one time penalty for Alex. Alex, you've switched the engine off. Have you calmed yourself? I've calmed myself. Oh, just all, all those high corners, they're really hard, but I kind of got the feel of the car, and I, I hope I did well. You started off so quickly. Did it, was that your plan? I don't. I don't really know. I can't figure my plan, but I, I. I did stay on focus. That was part of my plan. I could see you from a distance. The determination in your face was just immense. What was going through your head? I can't. I can't put it into words. I was. I was like, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. That was all I was saying to myself. Was the determination thinking that maybe, just maybe, you could go back to Team Sting? Maybe. That, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking, maybe, come on, I, I, I can get back into Sting. So I was just determined and I finished and hopefully I did well. You're finding it difficult with those forward and reverse gears though a bit, don't we? Yeah, well, firstly, because um, I, th I think I was revving it a bit too much. Well, when you get out, we'll get the Scorpion Island mechanic to have a look at the old uh, Scorpion buggy, shall we? Yes. You've probably wrecked it. Well done, mate. Well done. OK, the results of Reckless Rally. One person did it in a faster time than the other, and that person was... Alex. Woo! Yes! I'm happy. Happy about that? Thanks, man. Yeah. So is that a relief for you, Alex? It's a relief. Even though I've, I've only spent like one or two days in limbo, I'm sorry, Jack, that I've, I've only spent one or two days and you, you've spent like the whole, whole time, but I'm really happy that I'm out. So Alex is released from limbo. Jack, you have to return to limbo. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel quite upset, but... That's life you make mistakes. OK. You need to return to limbo. So, Alex, you've got what you wanted. You're out of limbo. You could potentially go back to Team Sting, but then again, you could also go to Team Claw. Oh, I'm nervous for you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling OK. If I go back to Claw, I will. I can just work for Claw. Um, but it will be hard working against my old Team Sting, but I'll probably grow into Claw, but... Really, hopefully I'm going to Steam. After winning the challenge, Alex is now up for grabs by Team Sting or Team Claw. But for Jack, it was back to being held by the island in limbo. In limbo, there are no rewards. The inmates do battle just to hang on to the basics, as they found out yesterday. Because every day, the Limbo captives are tested in a special survival challenge. Failure means punishment by the island. Taste test. The rules. On the table hidden under the cloth are three plates of food. You must put the blindfold and nose pegs on and sit down for dinner. Using your taste buds alone, you must correctly identify the three plates of food. The four foot. You must use chopsticks for your evening meal. Oh, oh no, nah, chopsticks. I've never used them and I've tried I've used them, but I've tried them. Like Today's survival challenge was for the second time set in limbo and it was a completely and utterly different one. We had to try three different types of food, blindfolded, with earplugs shoved up our nose. I can feel snot building up. <laughs> Disgusting feeling. Who's going to go first, then? I'll go second. Third. If... OK, that's sorted, then. You ready? Is it gross? 
Oh, that's oh, disgusting. That's, that's disgusting. Oh, 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 oh. Don't pick on me. Oh, go. It tastes absolutely vile and disgusting. <laughs> Is it? Oh, it's bad on me. Put sorry, my finger. Sorry. <laughs> oh. It was the worst thing I've ever tasted. I think it's garlic or something. When Alex went next, he just put it in straight away. That sounds nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love onion. Oh. <laughs> onion. I love onion. Oh, yeah. I love onion. <laughs> he um, spat it out pretty much straight away because he hated it. He couldn't stand it. Oh. Got it. Got it, Jack. <coughs> what is it? Then when Jack went, he had he said he had a sour sweet sensation tingling in his mouth. Uh, what is it, Jack? What do you think it is? Oh my lord! Uh, that is sweet and sour. I think that was like a lemon or something. Oh. Right then, we're finished. Let's take our blindfolds off and, and our nose pulls out. Oh. Three, two, one. Oh. Is that a lemon? I don't know. That's lemon. Oh, never would I have a lemon again. It was just horrible, disgusting. But at least we passed it, and it's the first time I've ever tried something without me uh, being fussy, because I'm a fussy, yeah. Can I try some onion? Yeah, you can try some more onion. Oh, you're sure. lucky. You're just weird. No, oh, God. It's him. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> the Limbo captives were triumphant. <laughs> It's been another eventful day here on Scorpion Island with two of our Limbo captives going head to head. And next time, Kai and Lachlan and Oliver and Jake will do the same in the Ultimate Jeopardy round with one of them heading to Limbo. You can't afford to miss it.